Hi everyone, it's Heidi Scott. Mm, excuse me, with DIY Dreaming. Hope you're having a lovely day. Uh, I don't know if you remember yesterday afternoon when I showed you these rusty tin roof tiles, I guess, um, that I purchased at a local antique shop. Um, I don't know if you saw that, but we're gonna do a project with it. We're gonna stencil it and then dress it up and put a hanger on it and it's gonna be super cute. So that's what we'll be doing in this um, video. All the supplies that I'm gonna be using are from Magnolia DIY, um, Walmart, Hobby Lobby, and then my antique store, basically. Okay, so this is the tile. And what I did, let's come down a little bit further. Oops, wrong way. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this stencil right here this cute little truck, and we're gonna stencil the, um, the face of this, the front, not the rusty side. Um, and then we're gonna do, I'm gonna do a layered effect, and then we're gonna add some ribbon and, it's, and a hanger, and it's gonna be super cute. Hey Nellie, how are you doing? Hi TJ, hey Bobby, oh Bonnie, sorry, Carly. Hey Carly, hey Cindy, hey PK. Hey Lisa, hi Darlene, hi Ruby. Oh my gosh, there's lots of you guys hopping on. So um, if you're wanting to do a project similar to this, I would just go look at your local antique shops or um, you could even look online and see if any vintage metal or tin roof tiles are available. It's really pretty darn cute. Okay, so what I did to start was I, I cleaned off the side and I cleaned off the rust that was crumbling off of the, the back side. And I sprayed it with this matte finish clear protective covering before I started stenciling. Oh, you know what, let me drop a pin, hang on. I'm starting to figure out how this stuff works. Okay, where did it go? There it is. Thank you for being patient with me. Pin comment. Okay, I think I did it. Okay, so I sprayed it and I sprayed the back also to sort of seal in some of this rest. Although I still feel like I would be careful. Don't set it on a white couch <laughs> or anything like that. Um, I sprayed it and then I used this stencil and I did one layer. Look how cute that is. With this black chalk paste from Magnolia DIY. Isn't that cute? This stencil is darling. However, I'm kind of wishing that I had some of the farm stencils or the more country stencils to do on these. Um, I'm also thinking that I'm gonna have to make some church stencils because I think uh, like an old country church with a Bible verse on it would be lovely on one of these tiles and I bought four of them. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do, I sprayed it after I stenciled it, so that's sealed in. And hopefully this, I'm really not sure how this is going to turn out. It's going to be a surprise to you and a surprise to me. Um, so we're going to layer white over the top. And hopefully because I sprayed it after I did the black stencil, it won't pull it up. Oh, and I forgot to say, say hi as you're hopping on. Let me know where you're watching from. Feel free to sprinkle. Farm stencils would be so cute. Yes, I'm gonna definitely order some of those. Um, anyways, so I'm not sure how this can turn out, but we're gonna do it like it's a little highlight almost. And to do that, what you do is you put your stencil um, exactly where it was stenciled before. Can you see that? It's upside down, let me turn it around this way. And then you just lift it up and to the right or down and to the left or down and to the right or down and to, or down and to the, I don't know. You know, you can lift it any direction you want and just put it slightly askew. So that's what I'm gonna do now. And you can see through the stencil where you're going. So I'm gonna go 
up and to the right just a little bit. And we'll see. If it turns out terrible, uh, then, I don't know, I can always paint this. Or I can take the white off for sure and just do it in black. Okay, so can you see through this stencil how it's slightly askew, it's up and to the right? All right, now I'm gonna put the white chalk paste on it and then we'll doll it up. And it's just gonna be a super easy craft, a darling little sign. Um, Oh, Monica says she enjoys watching me. That's so sweet of you. Leave, love the rustic tin. I want to do tin walls in your dining room halfway. Ooh, that would be super pretty, Jackie. Okay, if anyone is wanting this truck stencil or any of the paste, I do believe I was able to pin a comment at the bottom of the comments, and it's just my link to Magnolia. Um, okay, let me make sure I have this all down. And then I'm just going to take some of this white chalk paste. I'm probably not going to do it super thick. I'm not really sure. We'll figure this out together. Oh, and this morning I did a t-shirt for 4th of July. I have to remember to show you that. I wanted a t-shirt for myself to wear on 4th of July, so I made one. And it turned out super cute. Okay, can you guys see what I'm doing? I'm just, my head's not in the way, I hope. I'm just laying this chalk on here and pushing it through the holes on the stencil. And honestly, you could just do the track, but I'm gonna do the whole thing. And we'll see how that turns out. Hopefully it'll still be legible. And then I'm taking off the really thick excess parts because I don't want that um, to look crummy. And sometimes it can make your image look a little, whoops, a little um, bumpy or not even. Okay. So I'm just gonna take the big parts, the big chunks off Put them back in my little container. Ooh, I'm getting some new stencils, you guys. I'm super excited about from Magnolia. Um, I'm getting these big square Scrabble tiles. Yay. And um, I'm getting the skinny font that looks like the Ray Dunn um, font alphabet. I'm, I'm excited about it. Okay, so here's what we have. And let's see. I hope it's good. Ooh! Okay, so far, it looks awesome. Let me show you. We're going to do black and white ribbon and black and white accents on this. What do you think? Oh my gosh, that is so, so cute. Okay, I'm gonna throw this little guy in my tub of water over here, face down. And, paper towel. Oh my gosh, that turned out so cute. I think I will definitely, look how cute that is, you guys. Hey, and if the comments are driving you nuts, why don't you see any other comments? I'm, oh, because you have them swiped to the side. I was just about to tell you guys. If the comments are driving you nuts and making it so you can't see, you can swipe them to the right with your finger, assuming you're on a Android or an Apple kind of device. And then if you want them back, swipe your finger the other direction. They, um, Magnolia has this darling old truck. And um, that's one of the stencils that I'm definitely gonna get in the near future. Oh, they have so many cute things. Anyways, so when this is dry, then I will definitely do another coat 
of this Rust-Oleum Matte Finish Clear Protective Finish. Okay, so let's doll it up a little bit. Put my paper towel down. And I'll spray the back of it one more time. Okay, come down further. Thank you guys for joining me today. I'm glad you could come watch. I have so many projects in the works right now. It's a lot of wedding stuff. Oh my gosh. I always have way too many things going. Hey, do you want a quick little peek at my t-shirt that I made? This took absolutely no time at all. Should be close up. Faith, family, freedom. All right. And I already had these inks, which they should be, um, Magnolia should have these inks back in stock, hopefully very soon. Um, so I used the blue, the red, and the silver. Isn't that cute? And I have some shorts that have red and blue and white embroidery on them that I'm going to wear. And that's going to be super cute for 4th for, uh, of July. I'll iron it uh, with a, a, a thin towel over the top of it to heat set it on cotton and just go over it for three or four minutes. I may even do the inside and um, then it will be set and I can wash it and everything. Oh, thank you, Jackie. She says pretty t-shirt. Love the t-shirt. Thank you. Can you layer on wood as well? Yes, you sure can. But I would spray in between coats. So let the first coat dry and then spray and then do it again. Okay, so this is getting dry. It's not completely dry, but I'm going to be careful. All right, when I got this piece of um, tin, it had one good hole on it and one that, um, which one was it? This one, that um, was kind of open on the top. And all I did was take some of my jewelry pliers and I was able to bend it back together. This stuff is pretty thin. It's not as thin as that Dollar Tree cookie sheet stuff we use, but you can just bend it right back. So now I have two holes, and what I thought we would use is this stuff. This is called <laughs> Baker's Twine. I, one time I came live and I called it Butcher's Twine. Um, it comes usually in red and white and black and white. I love this stuff. All right, and I'm gonna do a double layer of it and then tie it off to the side. So um, to be able to get it um, solid enough to poke it through those holes, I'm just going to put a little bit of hot glue on the end of it. And then I'm going to pinch it and roll it together. Okay, and that's what you get. We'll come back to the hot glue in a minute. Okay, so let me think. Well, how did I decide I was going to do this? When you have like a string or something that's really kind of thin in proportion to the project that you're doing, um, you can always just double it up. This is kind of what I was thinking, is to go, how did I have it laid out? <laughs> Let me turn it around and think. Oh yeah, I was just gonna go through it one more time and then tie a knot, so let me just pull it. And hope that I can get another piece of this twine through the hole. Yes! Yay, okay. And then I'm going to try to put this through this other side. And then we can figure out how we can put a little bow on it. Maybe that I should come through the back so that I can tie it on the front. I think so. So what are you guys up to today? You might want to put some 
E6000 on that open hole. That's a really good tip. I will definitely do that. Okay, this is going to be so cute. I have no idea where I'm going to put it, but it's going to be so cute. Okay, what is happening with this? I'm feeling confused. Oh, it's this one. Okay. <laughs> I, need, I need to cut it. That's the issue. You know, I usually do the whole craft before I get online to do it with you guys. And in this instance, I did not do that today. Um, partially because I only have four of these little tins and I didn't want to do two that were the same. So this is purely experimental. <clears throat> and I'm trying to decide how. I don't think this needs to be super long. Okay, and then we're just gonna tie these guys. And I'll show you what I'm talking about in just a second. The other project I'm working on right now is I'm making these little makeup bags for all the bridesmaids um, in my son's wedding. And they're going to be made out of these cute little uh, pouches. So I'm just figuring out exactly what I want to do. I want them to be kind of boho because that, that look is very in with, um, with this age group of people. So... I was thinking about using my favorite lace and then maybe some shaggy lace or something. I don't know. Okay, so here we go so far. Pretty cute. When is the wedding? The wedding is July 31st. And I've got to get some stuff done. I need to get my dress hemmed. Uh, oh, I have tons of things. I need to figure out what jewelry I'm wearing. Okay, so I have these choices. This is just thinner Hobby Lobby ribbon. Or I have this piece left that has like pom-poms on it. And what I was thinking, I'll show you, is that we'll just put a little stripe of it at the bottom. I'm thinking for the um, for the proportion that I would like it better with the thinner. What do you guys think? I'll show you. And I would raise it up a little bit. You're not interested in seeing everything you're doing for the wedding. Oh, you are interested. <laughs> I was going to say, oh my gosh, that seems so rude to say I'm not interested. I think we're going to go with this um, thinner one. Yeah, so I'll definitely share as we're going along. And I was kind of thinking to not go the whole way. Um, yeah, I'm definitely thinking that. So let me get the glue gun. What do you guys think? You can see it. Let me turn it around so it's facing you. Did we like? I mean, we could even do, we could even just tie this in a knot and we could do a bow right here with this or with the bigger one. Let's try that. But let me glue this part on first. I am working with a low temperature hot glue today. It's still hot, but it's not going to cause <laughs> major burns if you get it on yourself, like the hot, hot glue is. This is not the style of the projects that I normally do, but I'm loving it. I hope you guys are too. 
I know you get adjusted to one certain kind of look, and I do try to vary things so you don't get bored, but let's, see, let's just cut it off about right there. Okay, so this is what we have so far. Isn't it cute? You're a farm girl, so you're great. You know what? Actually, I grew up in um, a little town in Idaho, and my mother's family, they were, um, they had a farm that, and they grew potatoes. Big surprise for Idaho, huh? Okay, I'm just gonna see how this would look if we did a bow right here. So, um, so we would always go over to my grandpa's house. It was like an hour away. And we'd play out, we'd play out on the cellars. We'd um, rearrange the haystacks. And he would get so mad at us for doing that. We'd go down into the, um, there was this little area that had like a stream running through it. It was really fun. I miss those days. Okay, let me turn this around and try it. So I'm not really a farm girl. Um, but I'm related to farm people. And now I live in Atlanta and, but I live in a part of town where there's a whole bunch of horse farms and it's really pretty. Okay, I might have to, like if I decide to do this, I'm gonna let you guys tell me. We might have to like actually glue the bow down and I definitely need to make it shorter. Just do that right now. Okay, so tell me what you think. Yay or nay on the bow. And we can make it look nice. I could even do a bigger ribbon if you guys think. What do you think? Tell me in the comments. Yes, bow, or no bow? You love horses, I do too. Okay, he, I see some comments coming, and I see a yes, a yes, a yeah. How did you spray? Did you spray the tin first? Yes, I did. I used this. I cleaned it just with a paper towel and some water. Um, lots of yeses. Yes. Okay, so let's glue it down right now. And um, I might retie it. Let me do that. Okay, well, sometimes when you're tying a bow, um, if you tie it upside down, then the, I don't know why this is, then the little tails will fall in the right direction. Somebody else gave me a trick once from here, and I wish I could remember what it was. <laughs> okay. So if I would kind of glue it right here. And you know, it might be better to take it off the holder and just because it's wanting to fall over to the back. But you guys like this idea. So when I get off, I will finish this off and um, and I'm gonna tack it down a little bit so it looks cute. And um, I hope you like my first kind of rustic project. Feel free to sprinkle um, if you want the link to look at any of the stencils or chalk paste or surfaces or any of the good stuff that they have over at Magnolia. It's magnoliadiy.com all smushed together, no space. If you put a space in between Magnolia and DIY, it takes you to Chip and Joanna's site. And my site is not related to theirs. So it won't take you where you want to go. 
And sometimes it takes you to a weird place. Um, oh, here, Dana says she's a newbie from Arizona and she's enjoying me and my crafts. I'm so glad to hear that. I really do try, you guys, to vary things up. So it's not like over and over and over and over the same thing. And we did a lot of drop cloth stuff. And then we did a lot of wedding stuff. So I'm going to take it a couple days off on that. And then I'll do some more for you. Um, and we did those lace brace. I mean, I just really try to mix it up so that there can be something for everyone. And um, so that as soon as um, you start to get bored, there's something new coming up. Oh, thank you for sprinkling, Sue. All righty. Well, you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. I'm going to fix this up. I will take pictures. I'll post them in the comments here. Um, and I'll post them on DIY Dreaming just on the page. But right now I'm going to hop off and answer all the comments. So I will see you guys possibly later today for sure tomorrow morning, if not later today. Thanks. Bye.